Hi, how you doing? It's Jim. It's Sunday. Still Sunday. Still here. Still listening to music. This is a record <laughs> by Marillion called B-Sides Themselves, or Besides Themselves. It is patently a collection of their B-side records, or well, their B-side songs from uh, a lot of their singles from the early to mid-1980s. So we've got up to 1987 on here. Now, Gabby has asked for me, asked me to listen to a song called Grendel, and a very specific one here she asked for as well, which was uh, uh, not Marillion, but it was Fish. Uh, the old singer from Marillion, uh, singing in uh, Leamington Spa, a fish convention. And um, I started to look at it. And the problem is, Gabby, I don't know the song. And it was really shaky uh, mobile phone footage. And uh, the sound was, was not ideal. I'm going to put it that way. Uh, so I couldn't really sort of discern what was going on at all. And certainly not enough for me to be able to enjoy what I was listening to on a first pass so I got about sort of four or five minutes into it and I thought this this is not right this is not the right way to do this I need to listen to the original first uh, which I've got here this is the first track on this record um, Grendel is uh, uh, in Norse mythology uh, a monster out of Beowulf um, and terrorize the, the Danes but beyond that, I don't know what this song is. So I, I know it is about Grendel, about that that very monster from Beowulf. Um, but I don't know anything else. And I think to listen to this song for the very, very first time, if it was, if it was, if it was um, live recording and it was uh, sort of a proper sort of official one, I think that would have been fine. I think just because it was so... It's just so shaky, you know. It's like someone holding a mobile phone there in the front row, so the la the sound was really, really overpowering the mic on the on the camera, and uh, it was it's just I couldn't discern really what was going on. I couldn't pick out what he was singing. There was so much crowd noise that it just kind of wasn't right. So, what we're going to do is set that recording. Um. Is listen to it on vinyl, and I hope that's okay, Gabby. I'm really sorry; it's not exactly what you asked for. But if you, if this isn't good enough for you, I will at some point go back and watch that other version. Um, but this is what I'm going to do for now. So this is Grendel from Marillion. Uh, it's not live; it is the uh, studio recording uh, from 1982. Um, that's it. Let's go. I'm going to drop down the needle of of truth and see what we get. A little bit crackly. Quite a bit crackly. <laughs> Genesis-like. Mountains echo, curfews bell, signal ends in tasks. Stalks the night 
wonder who's in the band at this point. They're obviously Fish. Rothery. Wooden figures. Um, Pagan Picture of ours. I think on bass. Mark Kelly. I don't know who the drummer is though. This is before Ian Mosley was in the band. Oh, hold on. For saviors. Born of no. dreams. Mick Pointer. Mick Pointer it is. It is a very different band, but it sounds a very different band.
denizens of twilight lands humbly beg him through Mother Nature's bastard child shunned by leaf and stream on No, that was coming. I thought we were sort of into close to the edge there for a minute. The Marillion have been very good students of 1970s prog. By the reptile spell, so furious essence pervades round the grassy dell. He rode a wavesin like lamb to the butcher's knife. Spell in the heavens, ignore even children's cry. This is, sounds much like a much younger band in that the sound is not so polished. And that comes with experience and a lot of money and uh, having really good producers. But it also sounds far more progressive and experimental and the band willing to take risks than more modern Marillion is. Really interesting.
just suddenly sort of explode into something. is Grendel. Let's stop that. From Marillion. Um, taken from this album, which isn't actually official uh, album. It, well, it is official, but it's not... A, you know what I mean? It's not one of their linear uh, albums. It's a, a compilation of their B-sides. Grendel. All 17 and a bit minutes of it. Um Gabby, I really hope that's okay. And I say, I'm so sorry that I don't want to use that uh, live version as my first listen through to it because it just it didn't sound it just didn't sound good. Um, now, if you are unhappy and want me to go back and revisit it, then I will do at some point in the in in time coming forward. But I, for now, I'm going to leave it there. I really enjoyed that. Um, I. I've, I, I, I've only listened so far to <laughs> the little bit of Marillion that I did know originally, which was um, Assassin and uh, oh, what is it, Lavender and something else from Misplaced Childhood, whatever the famous single. I can't even remember it now. And then Fugazi, which I listened to last year. Uh, everything else that we've been listening to Marillion wise has been. Hogarth era and uh, I have to say the difference between the two is absolutely stark I can't I can't get over it that this is the same band it sounds so different now some of that's going to be down to the age of the music so it's been recorded in early 1980s so it has a very sort of 1980s aesthetic to it um, some of it will be down to the fact that we've got two different musicians playing on here we've got Fish singing Obviously, very different from Steve Hogarth, but also this guy, um, what's he called? Um, Mick Pointer on the drums, who plays quite differently from Ian Mosley. So, those two obviously lending themselves to being a different sort of sound as well. And the fact that I think this is one of their very, very, very first things that Marillion ever recorded, ever committed to tape. So, that's a sign of an incredibly young, ambitious and hungry band compared to a band which is very, very much more settled and comfortable in what they're doing. And dare I say, um, relaxed, not sort of striving uh, in the same way as perhaps they were when they were much younger. So it's a very, very different vibe, very different feel. I really like it. I really like it. Um, I am very 
intrigued and interested to listen to more Fish Ear at Marillion, which is good because we've got three other albums that we've not touched yet. Um, so we'll get to those. And obviously, as a spin-off, we'll go and explore some Fish solo material as well. Um, so there we go. Gabby, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed it. It's yet another side and facet of this band that I've not known before. Um, very cool. Very genesis -y. Very genesis -y. Very Genesis-like. Is that the right word? Um, <laughs> it was interesting to see how or hear how many influences and sounds from the 70s golden era prog they were pulling into this. There's so much Genesis. And yes, it was really good. Well done, Marillion. Keeping the old prog flame alight in the dark days of the 1980s. Right, I'll see you guys all in the next video, whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim. Over.